Yeah. I'm Mrs. Porter, and I'm going to take you on a safari today, and we are going to explore all of the woodwind instruments. Let's go! Let's talk about some woodwind instruments. I, can you see some here? I don't have all of them, but I do have a lot. All woodwinds produce sound by splitting exhaled air on a sharp edge, such as a reed or what's called a thipple. Now, what that means is woodwind instruments produce sound by blowing air, and air blows across a reed or a small hole that produces the vibration and makes the sound. There are two main types of woodwind instruments, the flutes and reed instruments. Here are just a few examples of woodwind instruments. We have the flute, we have the clarinet, we have the oboe, saxophone, and bassoon. Many people get their instrument families confused. They get confused between brass, and woodwind because they both produce sound with air and wind. Did you know that not all woodwind instruments are made of wood? Sometimes they can be made of other materials as well. Did you know even even some wood, woodwind instruments are made of earth materials like the ocarina which is made of clay? Some people will notice the saxophone Although it's made of brass, it is not a brass instrument. It uses a reed to produce the sound. What's that I see by my plant? That's a clarinet! Yes, this is a B-flat clarinet. Let's learn a little bit about it. This is my clarinet. Now, a clarinet has one reed, a single reed, attached to what's called a ligature right here. And it has, this is the bell, and see how it flares out like that? That's so special about the clarinet. I'm going to play a little bit for you. Now, a fun fact about the clarinet is that it has the widest range of all the woodwind instruments. So that means it can play some very low notes. And it can oh. play some very, oh. very high notes. Oh. Ready for this? Ooh, that's a high note. So that is my clarinet. I'm going to go put it back in its spot. Hold on. I'm back. There is one famous clarinetist that you might know of. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a flute with me right now because my flute is at school. So I'm going to show you a little video of someone playing the flute. Do you see our next instrument? Do you know what it is? I'll give you a second to guess. Let's see. Do you know? That's right, it's the saxophone. Now, there's a lot of types of saxophones. This one that I have right here that I'm going to play for you is the alto saxophone. I also have a tenor saxophone that I'll show you. This is my alto saxophone. Now, there's parts of it that are very similar to the clarinet. It has one reed. Ooh, if I can get this the right way. There we go. One reed that's attached to a mouthpiece with the ligature and has a similar shaped bell, except on the saxophone, the bell curves up. Don't get confused that you see brass. Remember, 
Wind instruments produce their sound by having wind blow across a reed. I will play you a little bit. Saxophones can be very loud. <laughs> some support. So that's why saxophonists use a neck strap. What I love about the saxophone is it plays so many different genres. A genre is a different type of music. It can play hip-hop, it can play jazz, you can play classical, you can play rock. That's one thing I love about the saxophone. Let's go look at some more. Whoa, what is that? That is a Big, big saxophone. This saxophone is the tenor saxophone. And guess what? It's not even the biggest kind of saxophone. Let's hear what this one sounds like. Do you see something that's a little different about the other saxophone? Look at this. Yeah, the neck of the tenor saxophone has this little curve to it. That's one way that you can know that this is definitely the tenor saxophone. Again, it has one reed attached by a ligature. And this saxophone's a lot bigger, but it has a similar shape to the bell and this, a similar layout of keys and how they are put on the instrument. What's cool about the saxophone is if you know how to play one of the other one saxophone, you can easily switch to the other one or any other kind because the fingerings, which is the way that you put your your fingers on the keys, they're all the same. A G on the tenor, you do the same way as you would do on the alto. So I'm going to play you a little bit. I can't play you a lot because my instrument's a little broken, but I will play for you what I can. instruments have a deeper sound than smaller instruments. Now that's all I have for today for woodwind instruments. I'm going to show a couple videos to show some instruments that I just don't have today. And until next time, this is Mrs. Porter's Instrument Safari. Bye-bye! <laughs>